There are currently more than 4,500 children in foster care across South Carolina, including more than 400 who need your help right here in Charleston. Cynthia Bogan Baver and uh, from DSS, Lakeisha Bryant Seabrook are here uh, with a call to action. Cindy, we'll start with you. I mean, you, you're a foster parent. Uh, you've done, you've, you've been down this road. You understand how important it is. Uh, what can you say to people out there to kind of mobilize uh, more in the community? Um simply that the the need is great um, the children are amazing it's one of the most uh, just great things that you'll ever do in your life and, and you're providing a service but you get so much back yeah. so much back Lakeisha we, we those numbers are pretty staggering they are they are right now here in Charleston we have 400 plus children in foster care we only have approximately 60 homes to put these children in and we need 170 more at least some people will say you know how I've looked into it and the regulations are just there's so many hoops you have to jump through have those been relaxed at all or have there been any adjustments made to, to try and encourage more people it's a really easy process. Um, the first step will be to get in contact with Heartfelt Calling, and they can do that at heartfeltcalling.com, or they can go to southcarolinafamilies.org to get more information. Is there a certain type of, of uh, family that you look for that, that, I mean, is it families who have children who, who fit the mold? Is it families without children? What are you looking for? Anybody can be a foster parent. Right now, I would say we are targeting folks that can be able to take sibling groups. Oh, okay. At least um, every child that comes in comes in with at least one sibling. And right now, we are struggling trying to place those children, and we end up having to either split them up or they're being placed out of the areas because of the shortage. And that's probably the toughest thing to even come out of your mouth is the fact the possibility of splitting up siblings. Absolutely. And with that comes, um, they're being removed from their community, removed from their schools, removed from any organizations that they may be a part of in the community. And that's even more traumatizing on the fact of them being removed from their home. The fostering is temporary. You get attached, though, don't you? Oh, my goodness. If you don't, you're not doing it right. Yeah. You know, so you, I mean, it's, it, if you don't feel the love and the hurt when they leave, then, then you've missed something along the way because these kids are amazing and, and they, they just do so well with you. And unfortunately, the numbers are so large. Again, it is a foster care awareness month. You can get more information there. It's heartfeltcalling.org.